Closing in like half an hour. It's autumn now, almost the end of April. Can you believe it? Well, we're still in the mid of April, but sunset looks really gorgeous during autumn. I'm in Bondi, by the way. Okay. Oh, today is the last day of um, sale. They have spotlight sale every now and then. And then that's when you have to shop. I'm not gonna shop, but I don't actually. I don't know if I'm gonna buy anything, but as usual, I'm just gonna see yarns. I don't know what I've eaten the past few days, and I feel like really lightheaded this morning. It was really dizzy, and I tried to get up, get up from bed, and I was like whoosh, and I wet splat again on the bed because. Um, my brain wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't doing well. Yawns. Yawns. I'm kind of after that kind of yarn, but I don't think they have what I want. I think it's no longer here. No. Shame. They have fun packs, but fun packs are so expensive. This one is like 950. Sorry, 950. 950 dollars. These are pretty, but so expensive. Well, 12 dollars for 100 gram. Uh, is this cotton? I think it's cotton. Cotton is really good because it absorbs uh, liquid. Well, if you want to make um, something that is for maybe like for clothing, because it will absorb your sweat. So this is my favorite yarn, roving yarn, but it costs sixteen dollars each. It used to be like ten dollars, but it, inflation kept pushing the price up. And I like the fact that they're changing the packaging from this to this because every time this comes off, it always comes off, and it's a big mess. And this is luxurious. It's a hundred percent merino wool, which means it's light. Oh, it's so expensive. Look how pretty this is. Pretty. Pretty. There is nothing. Oh, I want I want something cheap. Cheaper. So I can make something and it doesn't cost me an arm and a leg. This is pretty too. There's a lot of prettiness, but not a lot of affordability. Sorry. Right. I'm after something like this but a different pattern. Like there's a specific patterns that I used to buy and they used to have that no longer I can see with my eyes. So I'm a bit annoyed. Okay. Not buy anything. Oh patterns. I wanna learn how to saw but I bought this uh sewing machine ones like this little tiny one from Spotlight as well and I found it to be very difficult to use but that is the actual like the easiest machine that you can use and I was still manage having trouble with it so I'm like I don't think sewing is for me because I think you have to be really good at taking care of the machine and I couldn't figure out where the needle goes Sawing is not my craft. 
let's go to Kemat. I'm after. <laughs> I want to see if I'm going to buy this uh, pink gumboots, which is available in Hurstville, but I don't know if they have it in Bodai Junction. And I don't know if I'm going to buy it, but I want to see it with my eyes because they're pretty. And we like pretty things here. Just going to the Eastgate one. And there is one that used to be Target up in Bunda Junction, Westfield. But uh, this is what is the nearest. Gumbo. See it. I see it. I see it. Okay. A nine. A nine is better. Actually, it doesn't look as good as I thought it would be. Not as good as I thought. Oh, what's this? Oh, it looks nice. Nice, nice, nice. Came out, got lots of things. Ooh, nice bag, $15. It, it, it feels nice too. That looks nice color. I, have a, I feel like Kmart needs to pay me for the promotion. $49? That's not bad. It's pretty thick though. Look at that. They have it in black too. Black's nicer, I think. Oh, $59. This is pretty good for winter. I feel like we are puffer jacket hunting. <laughs> Look at this color. Oh my god. This is Prince. $45. I wish Uniqlo has kind of this range of colors. It will be nice. Okay, enough. I have too many puffer jackets at home. Oh, that doesn't mean I don't want more. Look at that. They have this dupe. This is Uniqlo dupe. Say bye bye Kmart. I mean, I don't want to leave the apartment these days. I feel like I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> unless necessary. Even today, like the reason why I came out is as usual. Oh, they have an Asian supermarket upstairs. Let's check it out. To buy tatka as usual, and uh, that's where I buy my tatka supplement. And they only have it in Bondi. Um, I checked the internet, and I haven't seen them sold anywhere else. I did not know they have these. Let's check it out. Are they gonna close soon? They used to have a Asian supermarket near Harry's Farm, but I think it closed down a while back. I'm sure I will not see anything new, but still. Oh, he just sprayed that that boy. Summit in Bondi Junction. Ooh, fancy. Fancy drinks aisle. Oh, ginger. Ginger is a must. But I can't buy like too big because if I buy too big, I will not use it. So that big is okay. Maybe ten dollars. I think that's about ten dollars. What kind of drinks are these? Oh, I like. Oh, I like these. I like the packaging. So from the picture, I think it's uh, chrysanthemum. <laughs> they usually have oh chamomile, chamomile suckle dew. They got lady boba, lady boba. What is this? 
I want to buy it for the packaging soft drink. It's a soft drink. Okay, cherry, orange, and mango. How much? Ramen aisle. Ooh, is that all? Oh, good. I think I am intoxicated from kimchi. You know how kimchi is basically fermented cabbage? And if you have anything fermented, it has alcohol. And I think my dizziness and nausea for the past couple days come from come from eating fermented food. Okay, so this is pretty standard. The aisle laksa paste. Maybe I should get some laksa paste. I've been craving laksa. You just put it into the bowl, right? I feel like sometimes Asian supermarket is wasted on me because I don't know what I can cook and I don't know if I have the desire to cook. Sunflower seed, spicy, wasabi green peas, keys burn, rice flavor chicken kebabs oh we saw this in middle mart chips what is that mm, rice I think it's rice glutinous rice cake the usual dumplings coconut coffee powder what ooh I think that's fish cake isn't it fish cake Durian, I want durian. Oh, look, popcorn. I think that's popcorn, isn't it? Popcorn kennel. It's like huge. That's like my finger right there. So that's like huge. That's. So if I put the ginger there, <laughs> what I'm saying is it's huge. <laughs> Japanese sauce. Oh, it's Japanese. Oh, 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 oh. I want something, but I don't know what I want. I can't have miso soup because if I do, if I have it too much, if you have Hashimoto, you'll know that. Oh, this brand is good. $11 If you have Hashimoto and you drink miso soup, you'll get a reaction because it will attack your thyroid Soy is not good for your thyroid Banana Banana milk $12 Hershey, melty kiss. Ooh, yum, yum, yum. Hanel Bori. I'll get these. I'm at that age where if I see a sit, seat, if I see a seat in a mall, I will sit down. <laughs> Let's try this, whether it's good or not. It's barley tea. 
It tastes really nice. I'm not sure if you have autoimmune condition like me that this is allowed or no. Because this is a grain tea. Barley is like wheat and grain. It's part of the grain family. It's nice because it tastes like burnt. Uh, like, not burnt, but like a toasted grains, like toasted rice. It tastes, yeah, it tastes like, it's not like coffee, but it kind of tastes like coffee, but it's like toasted tea. It has a very distinct flavor. But yeah, it's a really nice barley tea. If you don't want to drink um, coffee or black tea. I don't know if this is this has uh, I don't know if this has yeah it's wheat allergy contains wheat peanut milk and egg I don't know if it has caffeine I don't think so yeah pretty good so summit at Eastgate Bondi if you're in Bondi you have to go up that escalator but I'm going outside, so I'm taking this escalator. Oh, look, they have this giant kitty one. You can put money in. Rice cooker. Oh, no, not rice cooker. Pot. 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 That looks like poop. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, let's go. dark now. It's not even 6 o'clock yet. Oh, winter is coming. I'm glad KFC is back in this town, like in this area, because it used to be over there, but it moved all the way up to Oxford Street, so now I'm glad it's back. Little lemon is so basic, but I heard they're so expensive. I feel like every time I check out a product, I always see what the materials are made of. Because just because they're expensive doesn't mean it's made up of expensive things. Like cashmere is quite hard to get, so it's a bit pricey. Um, which is why probably like the basic coat probably cost you about at least a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars. That's cheap cashmere. Regularly it would cost up to six thousand. But polyester is quite cheap material, like meaning like it comes, like you can buy it affordably in the market. I'm not saying it's cheap, meaning like it's low quality. Not necessarily so. But yeah, and what I don't like is the fact that sometimes they resource, which is like what retail is, I guess. They buy low, they sell high. It's just business. But still, I guess I am jealous because I'm really bad at marketing. Like my shop, I have, I can make a lot, but I can't market it well. Anyway, I guess I'm just, ooh, ooh, look. I guess I want to sell my stuff, I just don't know how and I'm jealous because they successfully market it well and make like things cheaply and then sell it very expensively, which is a dream for most retailer. How cute is that? But this is Le Crochet, Le Coste. Oh, it cost five hundred dollars. Anyway, that's it for today. I'm gonna head to the food court now. Just to sit down and do a little bit of work since I'm already outside. I can do it at home, I guess. But I feel like an obligatory, uh, obligatory duty to do a little bit of work before I go home, so I can feel like I'm a normal person with normal habits. Not true. But yeah. 
See you in the next video, guys.